This is a picture off the screen of the um, um, gray research monitor that was used for the CBS system. And this is the whole setup with a camera and the camera control unit and our little miniature studio. The background is a uh, color bar pattern um, and uh, it's illuminated by a series of, um, of fluorescent lights of the proper color temperature. Uh, we acquired this camera uh, and all we got was the camera, so everything else had to be built. Uh, the uh, tripod and a, a camera cable had to be constructed, well, the, uh, the mount for the tripod and the camera cable had to be constructed. And then we had to build the circuits to operate the camera. Uh, at, at the bottom of this cabinet are the sweep circuits, which were a copy of the original CBS designs. Uh, right above that, uh, that uh, housing contains the sink generator and the circuitry to drive the motor, the drum motor and the camera. And the top uh, cabinet contains the circuitry for processing the video, video amplification and splitting it off into the three colors so we could adjust the gain. Right above that is the uh, waveform monitor. Well, this was designed for uh, use uh, in industrial settings, uh, particularly in hospitals. And this camera is designed so that, uh, first of all, it's very small. And it also, everything on it can be remotely controlled. You can change the lenses. Uh, you can change the focus of the of the tube, and they had an optional gadget that mounted right here that allowed you to pan and tilt and rotate the camera remotely. The whole project took about nine months, um, and it's probably the most unusual uh, and probably rarest thing we have uh, in the museum.